Hello, ladies and gents. For those of you who have been following, we are finally here on the African continent. Uh, here in Nairobi, Kenya, I'm Jessica Johnson. I'm the founder of Black Travelers Network, and we have an amazing group that's here with us. I've talked so uh, many times about how great uh, the people are who travel with us. We attract some of the best, some of the smartest and the brightest brothers and sisters in the African uh, diaspora about, um, you know, the importance of traveling. And uh, we, we stay in some really great places. I will say we do not promote any particular uh, place. So just know that um, this is not a promotion of any kind of particular lodging facilities. I actually don't even share that information uh, in terms of where we stay. Um, so please uh, don't uh, be offended if you asked where are you staying in the comment and uh, we're not going to disclose it because at the end of the day um, if you want to travel with us if you want to roll with us you should just join one of our travel experiences we have places uh, coming up uh, uh, for uh, both 2021 and 2022 uh, we will be in uh, Brazil uh, we will be in South Africa and uh, Ghana of course and um of course we'll come back to kenya so for those of you who miss it we'll be back in kenya so i'm going to show you the current situation where we're located right now it's a little bit of a slice of paradise i must admit um we are uh so very fortunate and so very blessed to have a wonderful team uh that we work with uh, in uh, Kenya and you know like in many of the destinations uh, we uh, have great uh, people who are uh, connected to the Black Travelers Network brand and so I absolutely love our team I'm gonna walk over to the gym uh, and this is largely for those of you who have never been to the African continent and uh, some of you may somehow feel that uh, especially now that travel may not be as safe and I will tell you that I do not recommend uh, for people to travel solo um, in these times pandemic post pandemic uh, travel is still more than possible uh, as you can see this is uh, an electric fence in so many parts of the African continent you will see electric fences because it is a great way for guests and people who visit to feel safe. Um, but as I stated before, because of the economy and that the pandemic has created, you get the gym area, very modern gym facilities. Um, because of the situation that the pandemic has created, I actually feel that it's much better and safer for folks who can travel with a group, for you to travel with a group, even if you're accustomed to doing solo traveling. For some of these places, the pandemic has decimated certain areas. And so some areas that were very safe to travel solo, unless you like have really strong connections in the place, it's going to, uh, it can be a little misleading. It can make you think that it's okay to travel to those parts again. And I can honestly tell you, we've had to make some adjustments to our own uh, itineraries and, and where we take people and show people as a direct result of these pandemic times. And so for those of you who are interested in visiting Kenya, you know, you should join us. We will be back next year. Uh, I understand that folks may have been a little hesitant uh, to travel this year, um, but we have some fearless, bold, dedicated travelers who said, you know what, I'm going to get it in and I'm going to travel uh, to the African continent. And so I wanted to share this with you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We are so excited to be here uh, in Nairobi. 
uh, we'll be here. We'll uh, see other parts of the continent. Uh, we'll see other parts of the country. Uh, I'm going to continue on uh, to Ghana. I'll be sharing that journey with you guys as well. Um, and so I hope you found this to be helpful and uh, stay tuned.